In this tutorial, we'll show you how to generate reports, send them by email, and save them in various formats. Reports come into play when you want to get an insight into what's going on in your portal. To get access to reports, click the Reports tab in the main menu. This page has links to all the reports available in iSpring Learn. As you can see, reports are divided into five groups, quiz and simulation reports, content reports, people reports, e-commerce reports, and learning path reports, coming soon. As their title implies, quiz and simulation reports focus on results generated by your users in quizzes and simulations generated by iSpring Quizmaker and iSpring Talkmaster, respectively. Content reports deal with content items which you upload to your account. People reports will help you track your users and groups. E-commerce reports include reports on the history and summary of sales on your iSpring Learn portal. The new Learning Path Summary report will show you how users succeed at passing learning paths. Let's generate your first report. For example, you have invited your students to watch a certain content item, and you want to see how active they have been. You can take advantage of the activity report from the content reports. Click the activity link. Here you will see a list of your content. Click the Show Archived Items checkbox to show deleted items such as content, users, groups, and organizations. This way you can still run reports, even on deleted entries. Select one or more content items. Choose one of the groups and specify a date range. Let's say you want to see the activity for the past week. You're not limited to predefined date ranges. Click the calendar icon under the date range menu. Here you can specify the start and end dates. If you plan to tinker with report parameters, select the Show Report Below checkbox. This way you keep the panel with report parameters on the top of the page so you can adjust your parameters on the same page to get exactly what you want. What if you don't want to study generated reports on screen? Sometimes it's more convenient to have them printed. No problem. Just click the print icon in the upper right corner of a report. It will generate a PDF version of the report which can be printed. You may also email the report to selected users or groups. Click the email link. Type email addresses in this field, or add groups by selecting the corresponding checkboxes and users by typing in their names or email addresses. Here you may also type your own custom message to accompany this report. You can preview the message or the entire report by clicking these options. When you're satisfied, click the Send Emails button. Now all these people will get an email with this report. If you would like to export a report for your own records, click the Export button and select CSV, XML, or PDF format. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.